historical example so you know what's going on. Scott became famous for freezing to death in Antarctica. Columbus made history for thinking some island was India. General Custer's a national hero for not knowing when to run. All of these people are famous and they're also very dumb. Here's the point I'm trying to make. History is made by stupid people. Clever people wouldn't even try. If you want your name in the history books, just do something dumb before you die. Nobility is famous for no reason. Mary Antoinette enjoyed her cake. Caused a revolution when she would not share. And her husband lost his head for that mistake. Why? Cause history is made by stupid people. Clever people wouldn't even try. If you want your name in the history books, just do something dumb before you die. Tally ho! freedom and the grave. The Hindenburg, it was a giant zeppelin. Her makers made a minor oversight. Oversight. Oh, let's, it's been a while. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Take it back. I got it. We're good. No, no. I, I have enough of her. Let's Web. It'll be our sacred. <laughs> the Hindenburg, it was a giant Zeppelin. Her makers made a minor oversight. Before they filled her up with explosive gas, they should have fixed the no smoking box. Cause history is made by stupid people. Clever people wouldn't even try. If you want your name in the history books, just do but my underwear is black. <laughs> wow. I didn't need that one. It's black as my heart. Welcome, welcome to the Hoopla! Hoopla! This is the time we're back together, everybody together, and we sing songs and... Uh, are you, are, do you have to go potty again? No, it's better than that. No. I am going to go and become immortally famous as Pamelia suggested. Oh, yeah. I am going to go and see whether or not you can cut your chin bristles with a scythe. Yay! I'm off to shave with a lethal instrument. Oh, make sure you do it in the hallway where it's really slippery. All right, let's hear it for Fletcher Hodges. We're gonna need another curator. If you're interested, uh, you can go ahead and fill out a form. Uh, this is the time of night we gather everyone together and we sing songs in the form of a sobriety test for those people going off on safari, incarceration, rehab, and uh, this is a, a beautiful song. Uh, I want to gather everyone together for this because, uh, well, those of you that have been here all night, uh, yeah, you know I didn't actually win the Boulder Dash Cup. Uh, no, it's alright, I, I creatively placed. Uh, Wait, aren't you third out of three? <laughs> I'm making my move. 
ever so slowly. Uh, we have the winner here tonight. Uh, there he is, all the way to Ohio. Yeah, don't, seriously, don't. Uh, he won with his hobby of trading pigeons. That was very, uh, very unique. They are adorable. They, they are, aren't they? Uh, you know, I wish I had shared my hobby with everyone. Maybe I would have won. Uh, you know what? It's not too late to share my hobby in the hopes that next year you'll consider voting for me. So now I'm going to teach you about my favorite hobby in song, fingers. This is my happy face. <laughs> Spring is here, spring is here. Life is Skittles and life is beer. I think the loveliest time of the year is the spring. I do, don't you? Of course you do, even though it's after Labor Day. <laughs> but there's one thing that makes spring complete for me and makes every Sunday a treat for me. Oh, the world is in tune on a spring afternoon when we're poisoning pigeons in the park. Every Sunday you'll see my sweetheart and me as we poison the pigeons in the park. When they see us coming, the birdies all try and hide, but they still go for peanuts when coated with cyanide. Shining bright, everything seems alright when we're poisoning pigeons in the park. Oh, we've gained notoriety and caused much anxiety in the Audubon Society with our games. Oh, well, they call it impiety and lack. He's the adventurer of the year. Oh, okay. yeah. Alright. According to the bylaws, newly elected adventurer here will sing the final song. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome all the way from Ohio. This jerk. Thank you. Um, hello. Uh, welcome to the hoopla. Um, I have to admit, I was pretty shocked when I came down from Ohio and became a stop it. <laughs> Well, I came from Ohio and became Adventure of the Year because, you know, I know. Uh, I looked in the mirror, I know. Uh, uh, so, um, so it was pretty, in fact, it's so funny because from, from high school, my friend uh, Nick is over there, Nicole is right there, she's, I had such a crush on her, she wouldn't give me the time of day. She's there with her boyfriend. Oh, really? Nikki, so, um, but you know, I know things are going to be different. They're going to be different in the in the future because um, I always went to the World's Fair, 1936 World's Fair. Calm down. Uh, 1936 World's Fair, uh, and I saw all the cool stuff that's coming. You know, the the movie, the little movie screens you can put in your living room, and the rocket packs. So. Um, I'd like to sing a song, fingers. Last night I left a note on Nikki's desk. It said I love you, sorry, an anonymous friend. Turns out she's smarter than I thought she was. She knows I wrote it, now the whole class does. And I'm all alone during couple skate. As she skates by with some guy on her arm. I go do my best to forget that look of pity on her face when I'm living in a solar dome in a platforming space. Cause it's gonna be the future soon. I won't always be this way. When the things that make me weak and strange get engineered away, it's gonna be the future soon. Never, never seen it quite so clear. When my heart is breaking, I just close my eyes and it's already here. be some sort of scientist building invention in my space lab in space i'll end world hunger i'll make dolphins speak work through the daytime spend my nights and weekends perfecting my warrior robot race building a one laser gun at a time 
I'll do my best to teach them about life and what it's worth. I only hope that I can keep them from destroying the earth. That's gonna be the future soon. I won't always be this way. When the things that make me weak and strange get engineered away. It's gonna be the future soon. Never seen it quite so clear. When my heart is breaking, I just close my eyes. And it's already here on earth, they'll wonder As I piece by piece replace myself And the steel and servos will make me strong But I'll still feel so alone Until Nikki calls me home I'll see her standing by the monorail she looks the same except for bionic eyes She lost the real one in the robot war I'll say I'm sorry, she'll say it's not your fault Or is it? She eyes me suspiciously Hearing the whir of the servos inside She can scream and try to run But there's no place you can hide When a crazy cyborg wants to make you his robot ride It's gonna be the future soon I won't always be this way When the things that make me So clear. When my heart is breaking, I just close my eyes, and it's already Profundities. They don't know what to do with that. They're all going to be, you know, with their designated driver trying to explain what you just meant. They're not going to know. They're just going to be saying, pull over, I have to throw up, I have to make kungaloos. Oh, it'll always be the point. When they're throwing out a kungaloos, they'll be like, oh, I get it. It's the kungaloos. Yeah. All of you will have your own personal eureka moment later. Probably with a partially digested maraschino cherry. All right. things must come to an end. Oh. All right, and so it is with our hoopla. Oh. But we do have time for one more song, so everybody get your hands together. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, Intelligent successory. <laughs> nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Just like when I messed up my verse, nobody saw that. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what you're talking about. Me neither. <laughs> All right. Okay. I want to say happy longer. <laughs> you certainly can. <laughs> you're doing it right now. Here it is. <laughs> oh, halfway round. You handsome man. You love the ladies, that is true. And like a UPS man with his package, ladies, ask what Brown can do for you. <laughs>
his friend, he has a dream, he has a warped erotic dream to be admired by his fellow fishermen as a centerfold of field and stream. Oh, Adventure of the Year, Emil Freak Paul. Long ever. Thank you, Paul. Emil Hall. No need to worry, no, you have no cause for alarms. Though you may be dressed like a leprechaun, no one's after your lucky charms. <laughs> I was a little, I was a little jaundiced when I was born. <laughs> Frankly, uh, too much information. <laughs> it's funny because you're deformed. <laughs> Don't stand in the corner. Just a little bit. I know a little bit too much about myself. I'd like to take a verse to Papilia, Papilia Bergen. On you, Pamelia, I have a crush, and that's a fact. And if it's gonna be the future soon, I can't wait to show you my rocket pack. 